And every time, it felt so bad. It felt so bad. I felt so sick. I mean, I would throw up sometimes. Selling sex to feed a drug addiction. As the heroin crisis in our valley grows every day, so does the number of women turning to prostitution to feed their addiction. 27 First News reporter Cameron O'Brien spoke with a woman who's trying to put that life behind her. Cameron's live in the studio with the first part of the 27 Investigates report. People are often forced to live on the streets because of their addiction. Women in particular turn to selling themselves to get their next fix. Katie took me on a ride through her past in Warren. And in sharing her story, Katie says she hopes people learn to look beyond the labels of addict and prostitute. We blurred Katie's face, altered her voice, and kept most locations anonymous to protect her identity. I look at the obituaries every day. I just, you know, see their faces. Those faces remind Katie of her own demons. You don't see them from the outside. She seems to have the perfect life. Husband, children, home, a job in health care. But Katie almost lost it all just two years ago. I was clean for a month shy of 10 years, and I relapsed. Katie's drug problem started when she became addicted to amphetamines following the birth of her son. When she couldn't find pills, she went to cocaine. She tells me everything crumbled in less than a year. I lost my license to practice. I lost my family. I lost everything. Kitty took me to where she lived under the Summit Street Bridge in Warren. Kitty's husband kicked her out of their home to protect their son. Other addictive women showed her the ropes, which included learning how to prostitute in return for drugs. That life, anything but glamorous. It wasn't like you're going to turn tricks and you're living this fast life and I was going to buy clothes and dressing glamorous. It wasn't. I was trying to eat and trying to live and trying to stay somewhere. Katie's breaking point came about a year later. She was high and got into a fight with two other women. I woke up with all these broken bones in my face um, with a man I had never seen in my life. Katie went into treatment. She stayed clean until this last slip up. Now, Katie's been clean 18 months, and she says she's finally getting her life back. That includes her job, her family, and in a few months, a graduate degree. I'm done in August, and like, who gives somebody like me a master's degree? Who trusts somebody like me with keys to a business? Katie says she hopes her story proves that people can change. She wants people to understand addiction as a disease and that it doesn't define its victims. So Katie said she sold sex on the street. Is that still how it works these days? Yes, yeah, sometimes it does, but there are also other locations like hotels and homes. And what police are fighting are, is Backpage.com, right. which is an online service that a lot of women use to sell sex.